Hey, pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and after our Martin Jones-led win last night against the Seattle Kraken, the Flyers have to getting in at 4.30 in the morning to San Jose, so maybe a little bit of feeling themselves out as San Jose did not play a back-to-back. -back. The Flyers got in at 4.30 in the morning, so it might um, take them a little bit to wake up in this game. But as long as they're able to play more so like they did, I would say, uh, coming into the break than yesterday um, in Felix Samson's debut. I think they can beat the San Jose Sharks simply put because the San Jose Sharks just like the Seattle Kraken, even if you're not playing your prettiest game like they clearly did not yesterday. That was a Morton Jones-led win yet again. They're not the best finishing team. Uh, Bugner cited that a couple weeks ago before the break, how they have to start hitting the net better. They did that in their first game back, but it was against the Coyotes. So we're seeing <clears throat> against the Flyers, Sealer and Cates check into the lineup. Mayhew went back on the taxi squad. Felix Sandstrom makes his debut. Uh, Felix Sandstrom covering the Phantoms for Flyers Nitty Gritty. He's a very solid, sound goaltender that um, coming over uh, here from Sweden has really found success at the pro level rounding out the end of last year at about his last five starts, and then has been hot as a firecracker this year for the Phantoms, where um, them rebounding also has been a big part of uh, when Sandstrom's been able to play, and also of Pat Nagel, the uh, ECHL Reading Royals goaltender. But um, we're talking about Sandstrom right now since he's making his debut. Uh, he's been very good for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms ever since he got as hot as a firecracker last year. It's going to be exciting to see what he can do in his debut, but you cannot... A repeat cannot expect to win this game if you play it like yesterday. When no matter who's making their debut, because it's their debut, you don't want to throw them into the complete hellhole of having to be the literally carrying weight of the team, like Morton Jones was to give you those offensive opportunities, other than the JVR first goal. Um, but after that, to give you the opportunities to tie the game back up, and then to even get to OT to have the Dasuki and move <clears throat> uh, by Ivan Provorov. So. Uh, you have to play much better in front of somebody in their debut. You don't want to have to uh, throw him into the mad dog fire there. But I believe in Felix Sandman and think he has a chance to be potentially the future backup, just like Gorgayev, um with the Rangers became a backup and still is a backup, obviously. But some guys are just very good backup. Um, and he became a very good backup with the Rangers, not doing as good recently, but has had very good success uh, with the New York Rangers. I think uh, Samson's going to be a good goaltender, but we have to play much better. We have to exit the zone much better. We have to not play sloppy. I wonder if for the Flyers, I think they're going to be real, a little tired, obviously, in at 4.30, but if having the back-to-back, -back, because you had such much time off, will actually be a benefit just in terms of being le much less sloppy than yesterday, because you just played less than literally your turnaround um, in the is like less than from when you got in and slept that like you you have a very quick turnaround let's put it that way um where the sharks were able to play monday have a break and then um come back uh to playing today so it's going to be interesting to or not monday tuesday and then have a break and then come back to playing today so they're going to be i think the more energized team early but the more maybe synced in with the passes and stuff really should be the flyers since they played last night and played out of sync for most of that game. I Like I said in that recap video, 90% of that game was not won by the Flyers. It's just the end result is all that matters, right? And Morton Jones led them to the win. Um, Tonight, you're going to need to see the same play as we've seen out of Drew all season. Uh, I think that Frost line yesterday was very good with Mayhew and JVR. And JVR getting the two goals. And, of course, Jerry Mayhew looked pretty good in his debut. But I think I, I, think I see what Yo's doing. He's trying to use a taxi squad to keep putting fresh legs in the lineup each night. And I think that's actually a wise move to do, uh, so he's going to get Cates in there tonight, uh, Frost, I thought, showed some, uh, comeback woes of, um, being out of the lineup for, uh, due to COVID and then having his first game back, but that line as a whole, I thought, looked fine, um, and I think Frost will show, um, very good play tonight as he continues to come back, of course, himself, and I didn't think he was terrible, like some people were commenting on social media yesterday, I just thought he was working his way back into the fold, basically, where the whole team really didn't, look fantastic, minus Jerry Mayhew in his debut, was one of the more noticeable guys, and Drew, as he's been in every game, uh, was good, so, and then obviously JVR part of the two goals, but the key players, as always, for the Flyers in this game, are going to be Claude Giroux, I think the other guy for me, um, <clears throat> is going to be Cam Atkinson, because if you look at, uh, the Sharks, uh, they have a pretty quick, even at his age, Cogliano, Nieto, uh, 
Um, you have uh, Hobble Locks, who's just a small 5'8 kid who moves really well. Uh, they have a pretty quick team with some of these guys, and then Mario Ferraro um, um, on the back end as well that can skate really well. Uh, they got some guys that can move pretty quick, so I think Atkinson's going to become a key player in this game to be able to not just score, but be able to keep pace with some of these guys since he plays a pretty good full-out game. Um, to keep pace with the uh, Nieto's of the road. Even Timu Meyer is a good skater, obviously, as well. He pays with those guys, the Noah Gregors of the world, the, um, where they have a fairly quick team. They just, again, like the Seattle Kraken, don't finish the best, but the difference with the Sharks is they play a much better defensive game for most of the year. Obviously, um, giving up the amount of goals they give up to the Coyotes was not ideal in the first return back, but everybody, a lot of the leagues looked rusty in terms of giving up goals since coming back uh, from the extended holiday break. I think the three keys rounding out this video for the Flyers is play a much tighter, complete game tonight. You have a goalie in a debut. You can't hang him out to dry. It's uh, naive to think a goalie in his first game. Now, he can, I think, feel Sanders has a skill, but it's naive to think that he can do what Jones did last night right off the bat. You don't want to put that pressure on him. Uh, number two, uh, get the goal scoring going more. Uh, the Flyers were snake-bitten just like the Kraken were snake-bitten because they couldn't even drive any offense in that game other than the few select plays that they were actually able to capitalize JVR-wise and then get Prover off to basically just get into a forward position and say, screw it and go for the pass, and then it obviously worked out. So <clears throat> um, the key for this is enter the zone, attack the zone, but actually have an offensive force in this game, and don't just make it be those chip-in plays that you're relying all on your goaltender, basically, in order to get you the momentum, where I think the third key for this game is, I think if Fuel Sanders comes in, makes some saves early, really revels up the boys, gets them going after obviously getting in uh, really early and not having any rest early for this game, I think that's going to get them going early. If he makes a couple big saves early, as in his debut, uh, we saw that with the Columbus Blue Jaggers when they had somebody like Daniil Tarasov up and other goaltenders that have come up this year. That can really get, spark a team when your young um, up-and-coming goaltender really uh, strives in right away. And I think that can lead to some success uh, tonight from a momentum baseline. And then the power play has to continue to do better under Darrell Williams. If you get opportunities with the way the Flyers' offense has been inconsistent this year, if you can start doing better on that power play as it's been with Darrell Williams, that goes a long way because that helps lessen the woes. Like, for example, look at the Edmonton Oilers. Great right on the power play below at 5-on-5. Five five. That helps lessen the woes of your 5-on-5 five five issues. But I hope you all enjoyed this preview. I think the Flyers, led by Felix Sandstrom tonight in that, have a good chance as long as they play more like they play pre-break rather than they played against the Seattle Kraken because... The Sharks are in the position they're in, um, competing for a playoff spot and being a surprise team this year thus far, um, because of what they were able to do with the Kraken or more of like where most expansion teams have been and not like the outlier, um, the Vegas Golden Knights. So you got to play the Sharks team a lot tighter, basically is what I'm saying. Then you played the Kraken team, and I think the Flyers can do that tonight. It's their second game back. Hopefully they look a lot better in their second game back. But at the same time, they aren't well rested, and that's why I think it's really smart to get fresh legs in the lineup in Nick Sealer and in Jackson Cates as well. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this preview. Game is, of course, at 10.30 tonight. Hopefully our Flyers are able to beat those San Jose Sharks and keep the winning ways going. As you have Sandstrom in his debut against one of the um, better surprise goaltenders. He's been good in his career, but how good he's been this year in James Reimer. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great night, and let's go Flyers.